Even though my mission here on Mad Money is to help you try to make money in the stock market, we always need to keep an eye out for up-and-coming privately held companies with disruptive technologies that have the potential to transform their industries and possibly become the hot stocks of the future. Which brings me to OLO, O-L-O, a software platform for restaurant chains that lets you use your phone to place a takeout order and pay ahead of time so that you can skip the line once you arrive at the store. Don't we all want to skip? Basically, Olo has a plug-and-play online ordering solution for big restaurant chains. And they've already got some major customers, including Chipotle, Wingstop, Baskin-Robbins, Jamba Juice, Five Guys Burgers, and Fries, and many more. In fact, this company is now the fastest-growing digital ordering provider in a, I have to admit, crowded industry. Please, uh, plus, uh, just last month, Olo rolled out a new offering. It's called Dispatch. It's a delivery platform for large restaurant chains. It's a bit like Postmates, except Olo gives you a list of multiple couriers with a range of prices and delivery times so that you can pick the best option. I mean, let's call it the kayak of food ordering. Now, earlier this week, I got a chance to check in with Noah Glass. He's the founder and CEO of Olo. Take a look. Noah, this is one of those concepts where I think everybody wants to skip the line. How did you come up with it, and how well will Olo let me skip the line? Well, that's exactly how I came up with it. I wanted to skip the line at my local coffee shop, and I thought it would be great if I could use this device in my pocket to order ahead, to pay ahead. They could make the order when I was on my way there, and by the time I arrived, it would be ready and waiting for me. Um, so we're doing this now with over 150 different restaurant brands. Over 12,000 restaurants across the nation, all using Olo to power their ordering experience, letting customers skip the line. Now, people have to know that if you go to the App Store for Olo, that's not it. This right. is a built-in system, right? That's exactly right. So we're a SaaS technology platform that Services. a lot of big Services. restaurant brands build on top of to, uh, to build their own app. So it's a cloud-based system for this kind of demand. That's right. So it's about uh, enabling restaurants to better serve an on-demand consumer, whether that consumer wants to pick it up faster at the restaurant or get it delivered to them, and that's the new thing that we're doing. Okay, let's talk about the space itself. We had Domino's Pizza on, and, uh, he, and Patty Doyle comes on all the time. He seems to have something similar. We have Howard Schultz on all the time. Starbucks seems to have something similar. How does Olo differentiate from those real tech titans that happen to be in the restaurant business? Yeah, so those two are really the exceptions and not the rule. Okay. Most restaurant brands don't have a large enough team in-house and don't have the ability to integrate their system into their point-of-sale technology that then goes into the kitchen. So Domino's has been doing this for over 15 years now. They now do over 50% of their sales through digital. In the UK, 75% of their sales through digital. Now the rest of the restaurant world is trying to catch up with them. And now that Starbucks is doing this nationwide, every restaurant chain out there wants to do and it. And they have to turn to you because typically they can't build it themselves. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Now, we first came across you because a friend of the show, Danny Meyer, who, of course, is part of Shake Shack, but he was on the board of Open Table. Danny joined your board. Obviously, uh, wouldn't just do that idly. Must think that you have value added to restaurants? Absolutely. So Danny has been a, a great mentor to me for uh, a long time and have loved reading his book and have loved eating at his restaurants. Right. Um, but joined our board about a year ago, and you know, he says about Olo, it's a lot like what Open Table was doing for fine dining, but in the limited service segment. Open Table's market is about 40,000 restaurants in the U.S. Ours is about a million restaurants. It's a much larger opportunity and about that transaction, which in this case is about ordering and not about making a reservation. Okay, let's talk about Dispatch, which is your latest venture. Uh, I worry about this because we've had Postmates on many times. Those are smart guys. Uh, Grubhub, I've interviewed them. They've got a business like that. What distinguishes Dispatch, the so-called Uber, of this particular element from those other guys who are so smart and they have a lot of good people working? for them. Sure. So to be very clear, we are not in competition with Postmates or with Grubhub or with anybody who has a delivery fleet. Okay. Instead, we're partnering with all of those players to provide a meta delivery fleet okay. so that restaurant chains can do delivery at scale nationwide. So really what Dispatch does is it, it capitalizes on the fact that we have an integration into the point of sale and into the kitchen of these restaurants. And then it basically works like kayak for delivery services. Okay. So essentially a customer says, I want to get this order for delivery. What Dispatch does is it reaches out to all of those services in real time and says, who can do this the fastest and the cheapest? That auction model will drive down the cost of delivery and enable restaurants to do it at a larger scale. I got it. I, it okay, so it's uh, you basically have uh, a system that is like Uber in the sense that it's an algorithm, so to speak. All right, one last question. Uh, you're not a startup. You've been at it for 10 years. Most times we ask the startups, when are you going to come public? I have to ask you, why haven't you been public? 
Well, look, this is a market that I spotted early on yes. in 2004, really, and launched the company in 2005. Um, it's taken a long time for smartphones to really hit mass adoption here. Right. Now that you have smartphones massively adopted by consumers and on-demand services like Uber that really turn the smartphone into a remote control for the world around you, now you have restaurants saying, well, this makes a lot of sense. I have to do this. And now we're seeing just demand off the charts. So it hit. For our it, the tipping point occurred for Olo. Absolutely. Excellent. That's Noah Glass, founder and CEO of Olo. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.